Now we are ready to bring those textures uh, in that we just created in Photoshop. So I put, uh, first of all, uh, I put that background image on a layer so that I can hide it. And then open your Hypershade. I've got a little button here, um, but I'm pretty sure you know where to, uh, you find the button up here on the window, rendering editors. Hypershade. So there you go. Open that up. And now let's create a mental ray material. I'm choosing the MIA material X passes. Create that. And I want to bring in a 2D texture. So go here to that file symbol and let me bring that in. So I, I don't need the place 3D texture and projection stuff. So let me delete that. And now click on that file. Um, hit Control A to open up the attribute editor and then open up that rim bump texture that we just made in Photoshop. Open that up. And now let me drop that onto the MIA material X pass that we just created. So I just middle mouse, drop it onto the sh uh, shader here and then say, okay, overall bump. Um, so let me have a look at this and yeah, it looks good. So let's drop this onto the rim. So middle mouse and drop it onto the mesh. Um, okay, let's close the hypershade for a second. So now um, we have to tell the shader um, that this file is uh, should map to the um, UV set that we created. So go up here to window and go to relationship editors and then uh, down here the UV linking. Uh, you can choose UV centric, texture centric, doesn't matter at all. So take that, um, select the object and now you see the file one is connected to the map one and that's what we don't want so let's just uh, click on rim bump UV and there you go that should work okay so let me hit three to go to a smooth uh, version and then let me just take a render a quick render <coughs> up here. Let me take another render. Oh, there you go. So there's um, the bump map and uh, it's looking, if you're ha doing a closed up render, it's looking not very clean, but I think that's all right. So we can tweak that later on. So we drop that onto that. So now let's bring in another shader. So open up Hypershade again. And let's create a second MIA material X passes. And now bring in another file texture. So like we did before. Delete that stuff here. And bring in um, the carbon fiber texture that we created. So this one. Open that up. And drop that middle mouse onto the um, <coughs> diffuse channel here. And now let's um, pick that uh, second uh, middle piece here, middle mouse, and drop the shader onto that part. So hit uh, 3 to see the smooth version. And if you want to see the texture in the viewport, just hit 6 on your keyboard. So let me turn a wireframe on shaded. So now um, when we are going to render this, let's have a look. I mean, it's uh, the default lighting. Okay, so now we are ready to um, tweak th the shaders. Um, let's just um, put some, some black material on it. So go to Hypershade. And let's uh, take the first, uh, the bump uh, material here and say, okay, I want the color. Oh, let's try a preset here. Um, let's try something like a glossy finish and say replace and then uh, let's take down the color to black okay so let's try that out take a quick render yeah I mean the black background <laughs> on the black so yeah, let's just uh, keep it like it is and let's um, take um, 
click on the middle piece go to hypershade and yeah so we could dial down the reflection color here okay so now let's um, try something um, click here on on your perspective view and then say okay we want the environment to be white so go to environment background color and choose white and now let's take a render of that <coughs> so there you go um, so the rendering process um, with the reflections and stuff like that that's something I take care about in the next lesson so we are missing uh, still two pieces here so let me just quick uh, model those um, just for um, yeah I, I mean the the bolts uh, we have model and the vent so let's uh, try to do that yeah but instead of um, doing this in this video I think I'm gonna stop uh, here and um, take care about that um, in another video okay so see you soon